Okay, everybody. Today I will show you uh, how to convert uh, daily data, eh, hourly data into daily data by using R. So it is actually quite tricky for some people to convert uh, hourly data to daily data because all the examples that you see in the YouTube, they will show you based on the data that they created, randomly created by using R but not based on the real data. So based on the real data, it can be quite tedious and frequent and confusing for some people. So today I will show you how to do it uh, based on the real data. So the example that I uh, I get is from this YouTube. So you can show, you can go to this uh, person YouTube and, and you can see that Are you worried about losing your hair? Wait a minute. I touch down and you uh, uh, based on this person, I will get daily data to month and year interval in R. So based on this code that prepared by uh, this guy, by Statistic Blob, uh, I will modify, modify this uh, code and then I use it uh, to convert hourly data to, month, to daily data or monthly data or what yearly data you want. But the code is, this code that he shows, Statistic Blob is based on uh, created data they he create that data randomly by using R but it's not based on the real data so I will show you here how to do it based on the real data so here I make some uh, I will put this into the description later on so first some of the thing that you we all must understand is that uh, we must rearrange the date time uh, of the data and we must check first if the date time is tally with the uh, real time because sometimes uh, our data they have missing data and then they have missing period also or if it, there is a missing period it, it, no code will be able to do to run that one and they also arrange the date time uh, year month day differently some some of it homogeneous but some of the data I found that they put it different system so it's also confusing for us. So here I will show you how to do this one. All, all this not is actually I will show you one by one. So first I will show you the data. So for example, I have this rainfall data. This is okay. This is the rainfall data. So I will put it in a new folder so that we can everybody can so see it in the beginning and how it works so the this is real data we can see that this is the real data on oh, we get it from the station in malaysia so we have this real data and at first we must uh, clean the data first of course we clean the data so we don't need the up here because we want to clean the data and then we can rename this data as because we want to create a new data right as NA so it must be in the CSV format CSV format so we save it as CSV okay so first we want we want to check that uh, all the dead stem that stem here is is uh, correct it is tally with the real one so to do this one I'm using this this uh, actually from Excel I use I create this one from Excel uh, Excel file so you, you can uh, uh, you can write this one uh, for example 21 uh, September 2016 at 1 a.m. and then at the second row here you make the code uh, this is the code I hope you can see it the code is at the second column here is uh, M round D1 plus 1 oh, uh, over 24 and then start from 1 a.m. okay so that is the code the code is just calculate the timestamp at the uh, in the beginning and then after that you put the code here for this one down here and then you can just uh, double click and it will make a timestamp for you until the end but what we want to do is uh, we want to use this this arrangement of data because we want to get this uh, 
year, month, date and hourly later on so we have our data is from 20 this one from 23rd April 1975 so I will put uh, for example here so I will just copy this one I will just copy this uh, data uh, that I created randomly in Excel and then I just put it next here so I want to put it from 23rd April 1975 1975 okay and then I just put it next here and then I will just drag it down so we will get uh, all the same data until in the end so we can check it is tally or not uh, something like that but the hourly is not correct here you see it's not correct but why I'm purposely put it like this first because uh, later on later on because we want to make sure that uh, everything start from uh, one hour <laughs> at, at one o'clock in the mid in the morning and then we already created this one right but actually we, you can do this here in also here in this data set if you remember the code here if you remember the code then you can just uh, make another code here and then in this uh, excel file you can do it also but I'm not doing this uh, start from here because sometimes this data is that that time is incorrect. You see, some of the arrangement will be changed. Some of the data because I en encounter this kind of issue. You see, ah, uh, suddenly it's dis disappear. Uh, it's going up here. So it's quite be difficult to use to work with the original data. You you make a uh, the same the same timestamp but just to check it is daily or not so it is daily and then you can you know it start from 9 a.m right and then you copy this rainfall data hourly data and put it at 9 a.m so down here 9 a.m so you see it, you you cannot copy you cannot copy we cannot copy it so at first we just save it, it this is already uh, the csv file so i, I will just save it it is CSV format, save it and then close it. You must close it first. Close it and then open it again. So this is our new data just now. This is the original data and then we put we're working on this data. Okay, so we have this data. Now you can copy here. Rainfall data. You can copy it here. And then you can put it at 9 a.m. You see, there is no problem because you are working on CSV file now. So, the, the, if there is no data, you can put it just NA. So, I will put this name is rain and this one is date time. And then I will just delete this data set, this three data set. This three data set, I will just delete. And then for, ah, you see, because I put at 9 a.m start from 9 a.m just now right? and then all the timestamp is missing here so you can just add another one here by click two data set and then double click not done one ah. not don't put only one data set but two of the end of the data set here for timestamp and then double click okay then it will drag down and give you a new uh, new timestamp for the data and then you can just put it uh, center this one as well center so everything looks very clean save your data now we want to check if there is missing data so i know that to check this missing data you can just control find so i find it usually they put hashtag something like this to find the missing data uh, you see there is a missing data here so if there is a missing data you can replace this data with an A. So just like this one right now, right? You highlight everything, control H, replace it, and then replace it with an A. Match cases, match entire cell, and then replace all. So it will replace everything. But still, you need to check again because the code is very, the code later on will be very case sensitive. If there is still missing data, it will detect it again. So 
put as tag again fine if there is any missing data again so there is no missing data so everything has been uh, replaced with NA and then now because we want to make everything is steady just now right now we can just uh, remove this NA remove this NA why because our code it will cannot run it if the the rainfall data start from NA it will it will give you some some error so all the data that you want to use this uh, code to convert from hourly to daily you must in the beginning you must remove the missing data it must start with some value at least zero or if there is any rainfall there is any rainfall so it there must be some data numerical value here so you can save it here so this is just cleaning the data first it is one of the important steps now this date time you can highlight all of it if down and then you go to custom here home you go home and then the number here you go custom and then you go to more number format you, get, you go to more number format and then you go to that after you go to that you go to ah, here this is the one that used by all the alt code they arrange the data like this if they put it randomly but the problem is it's uh, all the rainfall data the observed data that we collect it's not sometimes it's not arranged like this so we must change the date time into like this first so it has a year month and day that it with days in between so we just just said okay okay now it's changed uh, very nice something like this so the alt code will know this is year month and day so now the tricky part is that everybody must understand is that if you save this data this csv file right save this data if you close it and then you open this data again you will see that the date time is uh, format is changing again uh, this is what giving some problem that very hard for people to detect so when you face this problem uh, when you face this, this problem uh, you reformat it again reformat it again and then go to home that the same thing just now go to more number format go to that and then use the the right format that i show you before and then click ok now it's changed like this again after this you just save it you save it but if you after you save it don't close this data don't close this data okay after we not close this data now we use the alt code that i give you so the alt code is this one okay i hope everybody can see it so it start from here we find our directory first so i have the new directory here just now copy the uh, link folder in your where you put your data and then uh, copy paste it here so this is our working directory okay now you run the line so it's okay it run the line and then you station name uh, uh, your file you put it in the uh, read csv file you read the file put it here and then you read it okay and then you can view your data you can view your data you can see that uh, it is uh, very nicely they have date time and rain and make sure that the heading of this data is you write is uh, date time and rain uh, so that you remember later on you put it into the next code and then we make a new data that we want to work with so we have data new one for that and then now we read the year the year column by using this by using this code data new year uh, do dollar sign year and then extract time and then put data new one that we create just now and then the time and why why is year so we run this one and then it will make another column of the our data just now it will make another column here with year uh, now it it's read the year column 1975 for this data just now that we created 1975 so after that we create the month's data that we we made 
right? The month data, same thing, but this time uh, percentage M here. You can use this data, this code, and then it will add another column for month. So you see, year, month. We have date time, when, year, month. And then we create another column for day. It's the same code, just in the end here, you put percentage D. So you can, can get okay d uh, now we have date time uh, when year month and day now we can aggregate this data aggregate this data is here you must be very careful you must uh, so we make a new data we aggregate the data by using aggregate function so we have our here just now right uh, here you can see uh, we put when when is our heading for numerical value of rainfall data that we re if there is any missing value you must re re replace it with an a and then we have day up here that we have uh, put another column months year we have another column here and year 1975 and then we read uh, the full data set and then we sum it because rainfall is sum right we want to change this from hourly to uh, daily we must sum the data we sum the data then we run this code we run this you will see uh, it's run uh, wait, uh, run smoothly there is no error but if you see there is any error if there is error you must check if there is missing value that you still not replace with an a in the data so this can happen and then we can uh, write this csv uh, this is our new data set just now we aggregate the data we, we copy and paste it here so I put my data set as daily daily data. So run this one. Okay, it's running. I can finish running. Okay, now we have this new data. Daily data. Now you see day, year, month, and rainfall. So we have daily rainfall now. You can see here. Daily rainfall data in millimeter. Daily rainfall data. Very nicely. So that is how we convert uh, hourly data to daily data. I hope this YouTube is uh, useful for everybody. After, after we finish running everything, now the input data, you can close it. But remember, after you close it, the that stem here, it will change again. If you want to work with this data set again, you must change it again to the uh, system like this. That stem that I show you just now by using uh, home date time here you must use more number format date and then click this one the one that with this so that I'll can read it probably so we can close this one and then close this code that we used to uh, arrange the date time properly I think that's all for uh, uh, how to change uh, hourly data to month da daily data and then if you have any comment, if you have any problem, just comment in my YouTube. I will put this code in the description. Okay. Thank you for watching.